Well, 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 guys, what is going on? Warning, this game contains strong language of... I couldn't read it. Made by Capcom. And by Cryware. Not so average Joe here, by the way. Dolby Pro Logic. Yep, yep, yep. Welcome to Resident Evil. Four. The Wii edition. Um... Hey guys, uh, this is my special Halloween LP that I'm doing. So, I still have more Sly Cooper to post, I know, but, um, you know, I'm starting off with Resident Evil for the Halloween season. S season. Season! Season! Okay, now that my speech impediment's out of the way, um, we are gonna go ahead and start a new game here. Um,. We're gonna uh, professional, normal, professional, normal. Oh, let's see. Um. Huh. I'll do normal because uh, professional is kind of well, you know, professional. <laughs> and I am no professional at this game. Um, select a costume. We'll do our normal costume. I'm telling you guys, I've played the shit out of this game. Never forget it. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. <sighs> Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. All right, Resident Evil 4. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. All right, so here we are. With a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. Leon Kennedy I here. Assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Cornell. Why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. <laughs> you are a long way from home, cowboy. You Indeed. are my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. <laughs> oh, you crazy American. <laughs> you crazy Americano. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. Yeah, go mow my lawn. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Anyway, here we are with Leon Kennedy, Resident Evil 4. All right. So we are looking for. Well, actually, I don't think they told us what we're looking for yet. It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter. Ah, she there was we go. Abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence. There's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? I see you being. It's freezing. So cold, all of us are it. I see you being. You have a small wiener. <laughs> oh my god. I know I shouldn't be talking during a cutscene, but... Oh well. Nothing really too important is being said. So basically we're being sent here to look for the president's daughter because they 
somehow someone kidnapped the president's daughter. Yeah. Through all their security, through all their weapons, snipers, all that, someone managed to capture the president's frickin' daughter! I commend these people. They're... <laughs> well, I don't actually commend them, because that's bad. Kidnapping the president's daughter is bad. Don't ever do it. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> what assholes. Anyway. Who are these guys? Did you say something? Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. Alright, so here we are. We're getting into gameplay here. Um, the Wiimote in this game is your little crosshair basically uh, control stick on the nunchuck moves you around um, of course we can't be playing Resident Evil without um, awkward controls uh, you can't basically um, you can't like move too freely and I say and what I mean by that is you can only move forward you can turn around left and then to move backward while in most games if you like move it if you move the control stick backwards, you turn backwards. Not No, not in Resident Evil. Not in any of the games, but yeah. So, it's a little awkward to get used to if you're first playing it, but you'll get used to it. Anyway, um, holding Z and moving will, you know, cause make you run. Um, pressing Z and holding back at the same time uh, will have you do a 180. So you can uh, quickly see what's behind you. We'll be using the shit out of that. Um... Ho hold on. First off, I think you can talk to these guys. They say something. Huh. Forget your makeup or something? <laughs> Forget your lawnmower or something? Get the hell out of my face. Alright, um... <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, um, getting into shooting, because I know that's what this game's all about. Um, pressing and holding the B button allows you to get your aim on. Pressing A fires while you're in aiming view. Uh, flicking the Wiimote up reloads while you're uh, aiming. So that's pretty much all we can do right now. Oh, um, pressing the minus button ha lets you see your inventory. Right now we have 18 handgun bullets, and we have 10 in the gun. And we have a first aid spray, which basically heals us if we get hurt. All the way. It heals us to full health. Um, uh, pressing the 1 button opens up the map here, so you can see what's going on. Uh, the red dot indicates a destination. A save point, or... Uh, S indicates a typewriter, which is your save point, basically. And, of course, the uh, arrow on the screen is us, where we are. So, I think that's it. Oh, and 2 is just the options mode. But, uh, we won't do anything with that. Um, you can uh, press the uh, directional pads on here to, like, get views up and down. Obviously, you're not going to be using it that much, but, yeah. Alright, so that's pretty much all the controls here. So, let's just uh, truck on... Bird! Oh, that's right. Um, while you're aiming, up is... Well, up is up and down is down. <laughs> For some reason, I thought it was opposite. I don't know why. Because in most... Like, in some games, that's what it is. So I was, like, confused for a minute. Alright, let's check the sign here. The guidepost reads, Pueblo! Okay. <laughs> Pueblo. Alright. Ooh. Creepy. Alright, so you know what happens when we see creepy things. We run and look inside, you know. Because that's the smartest thing to do, right? What the hell? Oh, someone's sick in there. Hello? I think you can, like, catch a glimpse of them from here. Nope, never mind. Ah, it's just a villager. Uh, excuse me. Alright, so I have a little quiz for you guys here. 
What is going to happen here? A, is he going to turn around and tell us where Ashley Graham is? Or is he B, going to offer us some dinner and let us sit down? Or C, will he try to kill us? Pick your choice now. You recognize a girl in this photograph? Oh, you're a bitch too. All right, for those of you who picked C, you are correct. You win a virtual cookie. I said freeze. All right, so first fight of the game. I said freeze, sir. I said freeze. I said freeze. <laughs> Why couldn't you just freeze? I just killed a man. <laughs> oh, what's this? That does not sound good. Shit. Shit is right, Leon. Let's get the hell out of here. Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. Aliesta! Aliesta! And when you hear Aliesta, you know something's gonna happen. Um, looking out the window here. No, don't jump out. Um, out these windows, there are guys out here. There's a guy right here. No way! I can get him through here? <laughs> That's funny. But, um, if you try to open the door, it won't budge. <laughs> look, his little pitchfork's sticking in. But anyway, this is no time to be fooling around. We have to get the hell out of here. Anyway, if you check this guy after you kill him, he's not a zombie. There you go. I know there's going to be constant fights on here about whether these guys are zombies or not. He's not a zombie. Okay, now that that's out of the way, what we got over here? Oh my god. Looks like they've killed a lot of people. I hope Ashley's okay. Oh wow, I, I hope so too. That's not a good thing to walk in on. Alright, so we could have jumped out the window on the bottom, but up here there's handgun ammo. In this game, you have to collect a lot. There is a lot of collecting. You want to collect every piece of ammo you can get your hands on. Because you can run out very easily. Anyway, we want to be more epic and jump out this window. Hold on, I gotta let me get a running start here. You ready? You ready? Hmm. Ah! That was epic. All right, and we got people to deal with. Oh shiz nibbles! I really hope there's no one behind me. Only three. Only three. Get out of here. All right. Obviously, you want to head. Uh, go for headshots in this game. Oh yeah, yeah. You want some? Ah! Oh, all right, all right. I let you get that one. I let you get that hit. Come on. Wow. Not even the first four enemies of the game, and I've already taken a hit. Beautiful. Get out of my face. Alright, what do you have? Give me my money. Robbery! <laughs> yeah, I know you guys missed that voice. Um, we could go into that area, but first off, let's go check on the guys in the car. Make sure they're alright. Guys? Why do I keep going up when I aim? Oh, this doesn't look good. Guys? Guys? Oh no. Oh no. Where are the officers? I hope they got out in time. Oh yeah. Well that's what they get for being douchebags. You get hit by a car. So don't ever be a douchebag. But anyway, um that was a hell of an intro we had there. So before going into the next area. Oh, typewriter. Before going into the next area, guys, I'm going to end it off right here. So, thank you guys so much for watching this first part. If you enjoyed it, comment, subscribe, leave a like. And this series is going to be very, very fun. This Halloween, oh yeah, this Halloween project is very fun. So, thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you later.